Stevie J from AngryMarks.com, Glove Up or Shut Up, and the Wrestling Observer with your Legacy FC20 recap airing tonight on Axis TV. Two long fights that went to decision, book ending three fights that ended rather quickly. The first one was Elias Garcia versus Max Schnell. I think Chevella was not too thrilled with the scoring here. It was a little wacky. One had it 28 28 as a draw. The other two had it 29 28 and 30 27 for Corpus Christi's own Elias Garcia, which the crowd obviously loved. But it's debatable. I mean, there were times that Garcia was clearly doing better. I'd say he probably won the third round. But Schnell was very close to submitting him all throughout round two had a very nice back mount, and was going for the rear naked choke over and over again. Garcia was able to break it multiple times. It's one of those kind of fights where you could see it any way that you wanted to see it, but the judges saw it in favor of Garcia. At least two out of three did. And for the next three fights, no judging was necessary. In particular, Ashkilik versus Antonio Banuelos. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of sad by this fight, because... We're going to be interviewing Antonio Banuelos. We were scheduled to have him on Glove Up or Shut Up before this fight took place, but timing didn't work out because he had a weight cut to make, and we're probably going to be talking to him next Wednesday. Well, we've certainly got something to talk about because he got caught exactly 30 seconds into this fight, and even though Kerry Hatley was the ref, and we all know about Kerry Hatley's track record, this was not a bad stoppage because he just absolutely got crushed it was just a clean, hard shot, and it spun Bonuelos around like a top. When he tried to get back up to recover from it, he was on rubber legs and fell right back down again. So, I, I don't have a problem with this decision. 30 seconds of round one. Next up was Adam Schindler. Yes, that's really his name, versus Chris Passero in a featherweight bout. And this one didn't get out of the second round. Schindler was already having some problems with his knee. I think he popped it. His right knee got caught when he was uh, going for something in the first round and just trapped between two of Pissarro's legs. And Pissarro knew it and was targeting it right away from the beginning of round two and then doubled him up with a crunching knee to the body, just sucked the life right out of him, and then kept attacking that same knee over and over again until the referee finally stepped in because... It was pretty clear that Schindler wasn't able to stand anymore. So the fight ended at 102 of the second round for the winner by TKO, Chris the Enigma Pacero. Next up was Damasio Page versus Patrick Ibarra. And Page had been on a bit of a losing streak lately, so as Chavello said, he was desperate to get a win here. And he came out fighting like a desperate man. He was throwing hard leather, throwing kicks, throwing punches, throwing everything just going for it with gusto, and he was able to land one solid right hand right behind Ybarra's ear that folded him up like origami. Yeah, that's my attempt at being Michael Chavillo for the evening. 157 of the first round, Damasio Page gets back in the win column with a big knockout. And then we had Carlo Prado and Carlos Diego Ferreira in the main event, and the story of this fight was that Prater just really couldn't do a damn thing to Ferreira. You wouldn't think that, given that, that just their respective records alone. I mean, Prater has 31 wins, and Ferreira only had six, and I believe the odds makers had Prater as the favorite, but Ferreira just took him down over and over and over again, and uh, whenever they'd get back up and Prater would rush him into the fence, Ferreira would immediately turn him around and put his back on the fence and take him right back down again. It, it just didn't seem like Prater could ever get his offense going. And it was very easy for the judges to score this one. I agree completely with their choice. All three scored at 30-27 for Carlos Diego Ferreira, who improves to 7-0 and over the veteran Prater. That's Legacy Fighting 20. Thanks for checking out the video recap. I'm Stevie J from Glove Up Shut Up, IngramMarks.com, and the Wrestling Observer.